Born in 1874 in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, Lewis Hine became a photographer instrumental in changing the child labor laws in the United States. At the age of 18, he lost his father and began working in a furniture factory to support his family, which postponed his further education. He eventually studied sociology and childhood education at the University of Chicago. A year later, he was hired as a teacher at Ethical Culture School, a progressive elementary school in New York, and continued his studies at New York University in Columbia. Integrating photography into education, he took students on field trips to photograph immigrants arriving at Ellis Island. His exploration of the immigrant life led him into the immigrant experience where he witnessed the terrible housing and working conditions. Factory wages were so low that children often had to work in order to help support their families. With lower wages than adults, the number of children increased from 1.5 million in 1890 to 2 million in 1910. Hines said, the object of employing children is not to train them, but to get high profits from their work. Losing their youth, these children develop serious health problems, stunted growth, high accident rates, and disease. Why were these children having their lives stolen from them to suffer as a slave? During this time, he realized that photography could be used not only to document lives, but also deliver a social message. As he reflected, in these early days of my child labor activities, I was an investigator with a camera attachment. But the emphasis became reversed until the camera stole the whole show. In 1908, Lewis Hine quit his job as a school teacher to press the needs of these desperate children. He joined the National Child Labor Committee, an organization whose goal was to end child labor. Traveling around the country, he photographed the working conditions of children in meat packing houses, textile mills, canneries, and coal mines. He often faced dangerous situations as employers wanted to keep these conditions hidden from the public eye. He had to assume various guises to gain entry into their workplaces. His photography pierced the American conscience, and child labor began to be seen as a blot on the American landscape. The tide turned against businesses who used child labor. Employers were seen as exploiting children for their gain. Congress in 1916 passed the Keating Owens Act that established child labor standards, a minimum age of 14 for manufacturing and 16 for mining, a maximum workday of 8 hours, and a prohibition of work at night. The Supreme Court deemed the law unconstitutional in 1918, but the battle for children continued on for the next couple decades. In 1940, Lewis Hine died in poverty, with few interested in his work. But his reputation as a photographer has grown more recently, especially his use of the lens to stir the public conscience. While violations continue in certain industries, child labor has been substantially eliminated in the United States.